All right, you two. She brought this from another shop. And like I said, it, it, it wasn't bad for me to prep, but the paint was peeling everywhere. Cause the car wasn't saying it good. You know what I'm saying? But she ain't tripping. I like this customer's aid. I need more like her. She dropped me off what I told her to drop off. She ain't complain nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the base down. She wanted the pink, they gave her that. So we're gonna go with uh, a pinkish purple. And then we're gonna add these pearls. Y'all probably seen this color before on my channel. I did the color probably three years ago on the channel. But it's just, you know, just something for y'all to see. But let's go and get into this thing and start laying this base down. All right, I got the base laid down, man. So I'm gonna hit this thing, lay this thing under pressure. Normally I spray, when I walk the pearls out, I spray it with uh, 24 pounds. Today I'm just doing 28. You know what I'm saying? The bust out a little bit more because it's cool. And when it's cool, you got to, you know, adjust your sheet sometimes. So, we lay the pearl down and we keep the thing pushing. Like I say, simple customer, baby. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, she wasn't tripping. She wasn't doing all this other stuff, man. I got in. She got a lot of air stuff that was on the car. Went on here to hit a lot of air stuff for it. Though, she didn't want to get hit. But that's what I do, man. You'll come over here tripping and stuff. You feel me? But, uh, let y'all see it. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, bro, I got I got to talk to y'all. So we're gonna get this thing pulled out tomorrow. So I need to talk to y'all, man. We got we got to get the we got to let y'all know how this paint thing work, man, because a lot of people don't understand. So we're gonna have to hit y'all with this knowledge, you know. So a couple other people want to be the talk for them, so I'm gonna talk for them and talk for me too. You feel me? Y'all see that thing, man? You two stop playing. All right. We got this piece. What's going on, YouTube? You know what I'm saying? I just want to talk to y'all today about how paint work. But before we do that, if we're going up here, uh, hit this challenger. We're going to put the challenger back together. And then once we put the challenger back together, we're going to discuss how paint work. Because a lot of people don't understand. So today, we're going to help educate y'all on how paint work. You know what I'm saying? So what we about to do is we're going to go on up here, finish this one. It, it came from another shop. I'm going to finish it on up. And I'll let her say how she feel about the paint job and everything. And then we finna go from there. And like I said, the reason I ain't post this with the rims on the 26s yet, the 26s floaters, is because I'm finna repaint it. Because what happened was, after I painted it, I just said, forget it. You know, not that way I painted it was about two months ago. A little over that. Somebody struck it two days after that. So instead of me fixing that spot and painting it back the same color, I'm just gonna go ahead and change the color altogether. So, that's why you ain't see that one on there. Okay, so we're gonna repaint this, but we repaint it, we're gonna put it back on there with the new paint. So let's go put this challenger back together and then we're gonna speak on how paint work. You feel me? So a lot of people can get a good understanding. And a couple of prices. Alright. Alright, you too, man. Like I say, this this right here is the challenger. It was supposed to be in the sand and go. But like I say, the paint was still wet up on that from the last paint shot I had it. Like it wasn't dry, it was just gunking the whole time. So the problem I had, and this is why I'm doing the whole side. Now I'm normally good enough just to paint one section and blend it. Now, I, I, I learned a, the count routine where I count my strokes and I can blend it, but I didn't want to take no chance and then still have to come back and do the whole side. So I had to redo the whole side just for this little bit right here. See that right there? You react it right there and bust back. Just for that little spot. You see that? I got to do the whole side. One spot caused me to do the whole side. You know, and like I said, I probably could have blended this back quarter panel, but then I would have counted my strokes, but I have to count my strokes when I'm coming from here. See, if I come from the edge, I know exactly how I'm counting. But when I, if I'm just coming here to here, I don't know how I'm counting. You know what I'm saying? The counter might be off. So if the count might be off when I get through, one panel might be darker than the other panel. You know what I'm saying? So to be safe, just go ahead and paint the whole side. So that's what I'm going to do, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I believe I can pull it off because I done did it plenty of times before. I just can't see this car no more. Like I said, it ain't been here long, and I don't want it to be here long. So for me, just 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 go ahead and do it if I want to do it. Just go ahead and paint the whole side. So that's the process of something like that. So if you're ever doing a pearl and you have a reaction like in the winter time, and a lot of times you just have to come back and do the whole side, man, to make sure it's right. And that's all it is, man. You know, so once I get in here, hit that one side, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come back, put the rims on, then I'm going to talk to y'all how this paint process works. You know what I'm saying? Let y'all know how everything go down. You feel me? All right? 
All right, you two. I'm in here fixing this side. All because of that one little spot that was died on that side. You feel me? So, I'm getting ready to walk it out. Now, like I said, I could have blended this side. I caught up a stroke, and I'm quite sure I could have got it. But to be safe, I'm just going to go ahead and then walk the whole side out. I mean, the spot was this big. That big. You feel me? Uh, but you go ahead and get it done. Like I say, I told her prior. She gave me the prior. She didn't call for plane. She didn't bother me. I ain't even heard nothing else from her. You know what I'm saying? Even though I did the car in a week and a half in that spot that was back open. I like them kind, because she know the price I charge her was way cheaper than what the shop did that I'm in here redoing now. And that was the problem. It busted back because they had some bad paint on there. Man, the paint job was just bad all the way around, you feel me? So, you know, my price I gave her, and they gave her a basic. It told her it was pearl in there. It was barely something in there. Mine, actually, outrageous, you feel me? Probably $1,500 cheaper. She paid me, no problem, boom. So I'm in here fixing this, run this, we're gonna pull it out, put the rims on, then we're gonna talk to y'all about these paint prices. It is paint politics, baby. All right? All right. I got everything put back together. She on her way to come get it. You know what I'm saying? She want, she want to get the camera. She gonna let her say a few words, man, and holla at y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Like I say, I'll say, so this right here, basically, this is a $2,500 paint job with me. That's me providing the paint, everything. Now, this car was bad as hell when she picked it up. You know what I'm saying? But when she came to me, I like the way, I like how she do business. She gave me the 25. She knew it was bad. She had a couple of dents in this side. Now, I told her, I said, I'm going to go ahead and knock them little dents out for you. Now, I normally don't do that, but I said, I'm going to knock them little dents out for you. Going to get them right, you know, because I just like how cool. I told her 25. She ain't questioning. She was like, well, the other shop so bad. Hey, you can't do no works. Boom. She gave me a 25. She was moving. Now, on average, all my paint jobs is 2,500. Like, far as, you know, not all of them, but that's what I mostly, you know, start at is like 25 on outrageous paint jobs. You know what I'm saying? So it can vary in between 25 and 35, depending on what you're trying to get. You know, if your car gonna cost me over, say, 43, $4,400, and I got a $4,200 paint job, but nobody never pick it. Um, but like I say, when you come to me for $2,500, I'm not taking half of that $2,500. You get what I'm saying? Because with $2,500, I still don't make no money. So I'm saying, so I'm trying to break this down to you best I can. I take You take a car. See, this one right here, it was quick, fast. There was nothing wrong with it. And like I said, y'all have seen the paint job before, but I'm just giving y'all an example. I gave, she gave me 25. I said, it's going to be 25. She said, I got all your money. She said, can I have it done by my birthday? I said, yes. How long was that? Week and a half. Got it did. Boom. What happened was it reacted on the other side because the old paint that the other dude put on there. So I had a fight with it. So I called her. You know, most people be like, well, man, uh, I need my. She ain't do all that. She's like, I'm cool. I'm straight. Go on, do what you got to do. So i like, oh, hell yeah, I like her. Went bite, hit that side. Boom. It just took me another week. You know what I'm saying? Because I had to let it sit and breathe. I love customers like this. So on average. Now, I'm going to tell y'all another thing. And see. Now, this ain't Grant clear coat, but it came out good. Now, a lot of people, when you come, when you pay, I'm giving you Grant. And uh, we just went with this because we had to go Pacific clear coat because this car was going to react if I didn't go with that. Uh, so I needed something to dry quick. This is Grant clear coat. This car is dirty. The depth in it, there's a difference. You get what I'm saying? Grant clear coat, it has more depth to it than most clear coats. You know what I'm saying? Because it's thick like syrup. So, like you said, that first coat is more like another person's third coat. You know what I'm saying? So... I really could do two coats on this car. And, uh, okay, just for instance, this car, four coats of this, three, four coats of this be equivalent of two coats of this. You see what I'm saying? That's the difference in it. Uh, but like I say, now, about seven years ago, man, about seven years ago, I was painting cars. I did a, I did a lookout for the community, uh, thing where I painted every car that year for three or four hundred dollars. You get what I'm saying? Three or four hundred dollars. So I was like, man, this shit crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like three or four hundred dollars the whole year. I got the receipts. I got everything for it. A whole year. Three or four hundred dollars. That's it. You see what I'm saying? I don't owe nobody nothing. Then I say four years ago, I did another special when I ran like the cars where it was like mm, twelve hundred dollars. And that was for the pearl paint jobs. And with twelve hundred dollar paint job, these jokers were going around the car. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Hold on. Let me, let me turn the camera. Turn it back on. Let me show y'all how these cats was going around the car for twelve hundred dollars.
That's what I'm talking about. All the twelve hundred dollar people that year was like this. Now who in the fuck does that? You feel me? Twelve hundred dollars. That's how they. Be. Oh right there, then. I, I see that. Oh 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 yeah, right there. Right there, I see that little spot right there. Oh, a piece of train there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Twelve hundred dollars. Boy, get up out of here with that nonsense, cuz. You feel me? But I just want to let y'all see that real quick. That's what they were doing when I was charging the twelve hundred dollars. As far as I get, say I charge twenty five hundred dollars. Most of them will come like this. Now this is my partner car. Then my homeboy car right here. So I'm just using this as an example. Most of them gonna come like this right here. Where the paint peeling. Now if the paint peeling on the car, that's that's a bad process. You feel me? That's that's hard. You got to scrape it, take it down to bare metal most of the time, boom, boom, boom. You know, this and that. You know what I'm saying? If that car is like that, or like that right there, that's a hard job. That's nothing easy. Now that would not be no twenty five hundred. What's going on YouTube? She just pulled up. Yeah, you can tell them. Uh, tell them what you think about the car, and then you make sure you tell them your social media and everything if they want to follow you. Anything. I love it. I love my car. She turned out so pretty, and the pearl is just right. Yes, sir. It's like so another car, another shot painted before. So, like yeah. I say, I just got. I had to come back over and redo yeah, it. Yeah, he did good too. That's good. I love it. Thank you so much. You want to tell them your social media or anything? My social media? Yeah. Uh, Instagram? Anything? No, I don't got one. <laughs> I don't got us on Facebook. Oh, y'all here. Y'all here. <laughs> it's nice, though. Yeah. I'm so excited. So, yeah, we got that done, man. YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I'm so excited. Get ready to go on to the next one. Like I told her, I, I was supposed to have her done before her birthday. Yeah. So, I did it in a week and a half, but the bad paint that was on there started messing up. So, most people be like, let me come on and get mine, you know. But I asked her that, and she be like, hell no, just keep it. Man. Let me go ahead and fix that. So I was like, hell yeah, let me go and fix that. She didn't, Take your time. Time, she didn't bother me or nothing. You get what I'm saying? Most of y'all got to be like this woman. Stop playing. <laughs> yes, how y'all let these women, men, how y'all let these women not do y'all, man? Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> you did an awesome job. That's why I said take your time. With okay, okay, okay. I love it. Yeah. Well, I guess she gonna pull on out YouTube. Y'all need to get them. Uh, put them tight. Have you put them tires back there? Oh yeah, I got yeah. the tires. Okay. Right All right. Well, yo, we got this thing, and she good, man. She like it, so that's what's up. Yep. All right. All right. Check this out. My phone threw me off just a second. It threw me off. But look, let me show y'all this. Okay. On average, you see that? That's how many messages I done, I done received today. That's 92 messages I done received today. You get what I'm saying? By the end of the day, it'll probably be at 120, 110 or something like that. On average, I receive at least 80 something messages a day, maybe 100 phone calls. I can't tend to everyone. You get what I'm saying? So for those who like, I try to contact you, boom, you can't get me. That's because I have a high volume of texts and calls all day. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, okay, for a whole year, I paint cars for $300. You know what I'm saying? $300. No lie. You know what I'm saying? And then the year after that, and this was about seven years ago. The year after that, I painted cars for like $1,200. Now I ain't got that many pictures on the phone, but I'll show you about what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know if I got none or not. I don't know if you can see it. We'll go. Okay, that car right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. The car right there. Put that down right there. That's a thousand dollar car. That's seventeen hundred dollar car. I did that a couple of years ago. Trunk, do jams, whole car, seventeen hundred. You know what I'm saying? This this is a new phone, so I ain't got pictures in there. That was twelve hundred dollars car and do jams. Uh, twelve hundred dollar candy. Uh, twelve hundred dollar candy. Uh, whole car, black grill rims car. Uh, that one right there was six hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollars, outrageous. Uh, eight hundred dollars. Uh. $1,200. Now, I liked her. She was cool. I was going to look out for her anyway, so that don't count. If I would have told her 45 she would have paid it. Uh, $600. That's how much that was. $400. 
how much that was, you know, right there, uh, $200, uh, $400, uh, $300, right there, uh, $400, $400, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got, um, see, I, I probably got over 400 pictures, but it's a new phone. That's the only ones that came to my phone, but I just want to give y'all an example about, you know, how much I charge a lot of people. It's a whole bunch of cars I want to show. And I will show that on uh maybe two videos from now. A lot of cars I painted for the 12. I will show y'all the ones I painted for 12. I'll show y'all the ones I painted for three. And watch how many cars it is. It's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? So, nothing. We got clear coats. And I'm talking kind of quick because I'm trying to hurry up with this. Uh I like using 496. I don't like using HB body and none of this other stuff. You feel me? I never use Nathan clear coat. Never. You know what I'm saying? But I just got these up here to show you like still all uh, two to one, two to one, two to one. Nathan, I don't know what that is. After. I don't use Nathan. I, I just got the can up there. But this clear coat right here is equivalent. Say you do four coats of this. Hell, this one coat might be better than this four coat. You do this right here. You do two coats of this right here. Four coats of this would be equivalent to two coats of this. You see what I'm saying? But I use, I use a lot of different clear coats in the past. And this clear coat is by far uh, thicker than every other thing I've ever used. Now, it is ups and downs about that. And the reason I say that is as far as being a painter. If you ain't a good painter, you ain't used to painting, uh, adjusting gun sets and stuff like that. You might need to practice first before you shoot this on a car. You see what I'm saying? Because it's it's a little bit tougher than everything else, but it look better. You know what I'm saying? I love it. You know what I'm saying? You man, you can if you a bad cat and you want to do one coat, because I know a lot of you will try it. Boom, hit you with one coat. But me, I will hit three coats of grant. If I'm about to flow coat, which I never really have to, uh, I hit it with four coats, come back, cut it, and flow coat with it. You get what I'm saying? So, like I said, with that being said, I don't owe nobody nothing. I done gave out so many paint jobs over the years. And even in between when I do the $2,500 or $3,000 paint jobs, sometimes I still bust out a $1,000 paint customer here or $1,000 paint customer there or $1,500 paint customer here. I don't charge them prices. Most of the time it be people I'm just looking out for. They're coming around. I don't need no money. I ain't looking to need for no money. Everything in my yard got the titles to it. Everything in this yard got the titles to it. I ain't hurt for no money. Like I say, and I got three cars that's actually getting built. You see what I'm saying? So like I say, everything in the yard is side cars. You see what I'm saying? But my three cars, I will post them on the channel when they get finished. Uh, but like I say, man, half a 25, no, I would not accept half a 25. I would not. Bruh, when you give me $2,500 or you give me $3,000, you're not giving me that amount. I do not walk away with that amount. On average, when I do paint, like paint kits, it runs about thirteen, maybe fourteen hundred dollars. That's coming off top. So if I charge you twenty five, you deduct thirteen from that, I'm already short. You get what I'm saying? And it did not be a thing wrong with the car. You feel me? So like I say, man, I just want to get that out of the car. Boom, boom, boom. But all black people like, I want to flip, flop, flip, flop. I need that bit super weight. Now, black people, come on now. If you want. All this flip flopping, all this, and you know you don't want to pay for it. And another thing I keep telling people, quit buying ten thousand dollar rims. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with buying ten thousand dollar rims. They look good. But what I'm telling you is, if you're gonna buy them, don't go to the paint man with the ten thousand. Go listen. Go get you some tires falling apart when you pull up on the paint man. You feel me? And say, boom, man, I ain't hardly got no money. Let me get that deal. Then he might believe you, but if you pull up with some $10,000 rims and this man tell you, even if he say 15, because I've seen a lot of other panels try to charge people 15 and the people didn't want to pay them. That was so weird, but they had $10,000 rims. So $1,500, $25,000, $3,000, at with $10,000 rims, that man tell you $4,500, that shouldn't be no problem. If you got $10,000 rims on your car, do that make any sense? Come on, cuz. But yeah, I just want to get that out there, explain to y'all a little bit how that worked. And like I say, with me, I just don't care about stuff half the time. Don't nothing bother me. I'm going to always roll the way I roll. Like I say, I, I lead, I don't follow. I don't even stand none of that. You feel me? But like I say, just show you I went capping. You know what I'm saying? So when people like, 
You don't answer your phone? Boom. That's why I don't answer the phone half the time. Half the time, they, you know, I, I like when people come in and say, what's up, great man? I love your work. Boom, boom, chop it up. And we laugh and have fun like that. I like that. But if you call and buy paint and you know you really ain't going to get nothing painted or you know you too cheap to pay for a paint job, listen, that's why I don't answer the phone for the people that's trying to get something did a lot of times because it's too many calls to deal with. And like I say, to show you I went capping, you see all the receipts there. You feel me? All the receipts. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. That's crazy how many receipts that is. I ought to be, boy, I ought to be riding this bitch laid out right now. Straight boo got it. You feel me? But it is what it is. But like I say, come on with it. We should have a fun year. We should go ahead and get this channel popping. This is New Year. We should start this thing off right and we to keep this thing moving. So I just want to let y'all know that. Get get with your boys and all this, man. And uh, all my other painters out there, man, if y'all having problems with this and that, you know, just be straight up with them. You know, handle it how you handle it. And I'm going to handle it how I handle it. And we're going to keep it pushing, baby. All right. I'm going to catch y'all on this video, YouTube. Get y'all some of that. Off the gun greatness, man. Get you some.